Hey guys, Taryn's L here, welcome. So, Procreate, they've announced their new Procreate Dreams app yesterday. And it's a new animation app um, from the Procreate team. So if you know Procreate, it's an art drawing app. And it's really nice to see them branching out to this. So Procreate already has an animation tool, but it's really quite limited. So it's nice to see them making something new and something that's focused on just animation. So as you can see here, they have this preview of all the different animations you can make and they're all really good, really nice cartoony. There was a little bit of a real um, live action over there. You can see the skateboard, it shows up again. But yeah, so it does seem that you can make some really nice cartoon animation. There we go, a, a real life video. So that's nice, you can also import things in there. Um, but what I want to really show is some of the key highlights. So they have a 30 minute keynote and it's really long. So let's just try and cover as much as possible in a shorter time. So first 10 minutes is just really them rambling about how it's really, really fast, guys. It's very, very fast. There's, there's nothing important about it. It talks about CPU and programming. Um, but what I want to bring to your attention is firstly, it's right over here about the 1250 minute mark. And he will show this timeline and it's really cool because as you can see they've implemented the Procreate gestures and you can just instantly zoom out and you can see all of your layers and all the different timelines and so that's really neat. Um, it's the same gesture on the uh, on Procreate where you try to zoom in and out your canvas. It's nice to see them do that and over here as you can see they've also implemented a way for you to zoom into each individual frame and so that's really neat and I'm just going to pause right over here and as you can see on the top they have just basically an art canvas and with your um, opacity and your brush size tools over here so it's just kind of like Procreate but with the um, animation timeline plastered on the bottom so that's also really neat and over here they're just showing it playing over and over and as you zoom out it increases the length of the loop so that's another neat thing on pc it kind of always you have to pick and choose how long the duration is and so it's kind of clunky so i re so that's another neat thing that they've introduced it seems um so let's just jump forward a little bit that's just some other stuff over there but they're not that interesting the next one they've introduced is performing and this is quite intriguing actually it's a way for you to tween your um, animations but instead of like manually drawing lines and then picking out uh, picking out the uh, direction of the transformation of the objects on the screen um, they're gonna show right here where you can basically just touch the screen and drag the object around and you can see it uh, essentially rotate so this eagle over here is going to rotate so they're going to do it in a couple seconds probably come on show it yeah you hit the record button essentially come on uh, just do that let's just jump forward play it let's just jump here Right there, there we go guys. Now he's actually going to fly. And that's kind of nice. There's a little way you can actually poke, touch the screen and then rotate the, the ego as it flies. So obviously the ego has already been animated and then they just dragged it around. Um, it'll be nice to see how robust this other than just um, rotation or uh, scale. I'm not uh, sure what else they could possibly do but it'll be interesting to see if there's any more um, different kind of things you could try to perform can you change colors as you go can you um, draw on top of the canvas as you're recording now that would be really neat imagine if you can actually like live as you're recording actually just draw and the um, the recording thing will just record it <laughs> almost like a time-lapse and and here is just talking about 
the canvas and you can just draw it. It looks it looks like Procreate. It even has the buttons on the top over here, on the top right, and then you have the like the gallery button on the top left, and then the brush size and opacity on the left. So that's nice. Um, and then it's just gonna talk about flip book. So you have a flip book tool. So neat. Um, they're kind of packaging multiple apps in a single big app. So you have Procreate itself, you have the tween and the keyframe animations, and then you have this flipbook. Uh, and then later on, um, they talk a, a few, a little bit more. They talk about audio, but uh, they didn't really show anything about that. They've shown about um, what else did they show over here? They showed video over here. So just essentially just video editing. So you can use this as a video editor. So that's neat. Um, I doubt it have. I doubt it have um, some more advanced capabilities like Adobe After Effects or something. So if you could green screen something, um, probably not. Um, but it will be focused on artists. So I think if they can do most of your basic editing, like just clipping and moving things around, it's probably good enough. And then the rest of the video, they just basically just ran for how it's on iCloud and you have infinite undos. Just, yeah, those aren't nearly as important. So those are kind of the neat little things that they've added. And then they have this nice long uh, video, which uh, I'll just link the full video at the end of, uh, at the bottom in the description, and then you can just view this yourself. Um, but what do you think, guys? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. They've also mentioned that um, it's $19.99 and it's a one-off purchase. So that's really good. Um, a lot of tools these days are becoming subscription-based and I don't like that. I don't think a lot of people like that. In fact, Adobe's that uh, subscription, Clip Studio's a subscription now. Um, and it's getting kind of annoying. So, it's, uh, so the fact that Procreate has made it a one-time purchase for $19.99, I think that's really cool. Uh, that's really great of them. Um, I'm certainly going to take a look at it, and I will certainly uh, probably give it a go and maybe give it a review. Um, so what do you think, guys? Do you like it? And if you like my video, uh, be, sure, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and that's all. Leave us some comments, and what do you, th what do you think about this new procreate dreams app do you like it do you not like it i'd like to hear your thoughts cheers guys Ta -ta.